Did you know that 95% of all pregnancies happen because of inconsistent use of contraceptives? Oh, Choma, I forgot to take my pill. Oh, Choma, I did not expect to meet Ben during this lockdown and I had no protection. Let's solve this problem today. Let's talk about emergency contraceptives. You know gynecology how they are above all learning. Emergency contraceptive is a method of contraception that can be used to prevent pregnancy after unprotected sexual intercourse. Recommended for use within five days, but it is much more effective if it is used within 24 hours. Wait, 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 wait. I know exactly what you're thinking. Emergency contraceptive is not abortion. And this is why. After unprotected sexual intercourse, the sperm has a long journey to meet the ovum at the fallopian tube. The journey can take up to 72 hours. So what the emergency contraceptive does, it prevents this sperm and the ovum to meet by first making the cervix to produce a mucus plug, which stop the sperm to travel to the fallopian tube. If that fails, the emergency contraceptives also prevent the release of the ovum by the ovary, what we call ovulation. As a result, there is no fertilization or the sperm and the ovum do not meet. No fertilization, no baby. Whereas abortion is the intentional removal of the embryo or the fetus from the uterus. With emergency contraceptives, there is no embryo or fetus formed. As a result, there is nothing to abort. We have now addressed the big elephant in the room. Let's now start the meaty part of this presentation. So patients come to you with a history of unprotected sexual intercourse. For whatever reason, it could be the fact that the condom broke, patient forgot to take her tablets, in a worse and horrible instance where patient got raped. This is how you should go about it. Take a medical history. If a patient would like to have a long term option of contraceptives and the intrauterian contraceptive device is available, offer the intrauterian contraceptive device because of its reliability. Intrauterian contraceptive device can be fitted up to three days after first episode of unprotected sexual intercourse. If the intrauterine contraceptive device is not available, or patient decline, or there are some contraindications for intrauterine contraceptive device, then plan B, levonorgestrel, 0.75 mg 12 hours apart, or a single dose of 1.5 mg step. There is no evidence to show that a split dose or a single dose is better than the other. This plan B must be administered within 72 hours. Another option is uliprostol acetate, 30 mg stat. But this medication is not recommended if a woman is taking enzyme-inducing medication, anti-acid or PPIs. Uliprostol acetate can be given up to 120 hours after the first episode of unprotected sexual intercourse. Last option is the high dose combined oral contraceptive.
Hang in there, hang in there. Last minute, last minute. Let's go. Last minute. Prescribe anti-emetics for nausea and vomiting. Prescribe another dose if the patient vomit within two hours. Do not forget to do the pregnancy test in three weeks. Remember, emergency contraceptive is not the same as abortion. Thank you very much. Dinotenda. Bye-bye.